<laughs> well, I've been spending a lot of time working on this album. I'm happy to have this out. I'm happy to announce the album. It's uh, 31st of January now, so that feels like a relief to be getting there, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, and also, like, what I was used to in the band was, like, an album a year, so, like, I do feel like, you know what I mean, I've been away for a second, so... I'm relieved. I'm relieved to have my album out. I'm relieved to get on the road. So, yeah, things are looking good. Do you have any... Did you have making the album, putting the songs together? You're giving this to the world. Um, are you one of those guys you're like, yeah, uh, nailed it? Or do you, do you like, doubt yourself, go back and forth? Or are you, like, forward movement, momentum, this is it. I know myself. I know my decisions. I think creatively you go through, like, different stages in the process, really. Uh -huh. um, and I think... At times, definitely, I've been a bit of a perfectionist throughout this, uh -huh. um, and I think sometimes, yeah, it's good to just kind of be, you know, led on your gut and just and just kind of go for it. Um, but I think with it being my first album, like on my own, naturally, I was a bit more precious about it this time round. You know, I wanted every song to be right, every right, lyric, right. every sound. So, you know, it took a bit of time. So, tell us, what will we? What do we expect with Walls? What kind of Louis do we get? Well, uh, lyrically, I'm always trying to be honest. I'm always trying to be real and like, you know what I mean, and down to earth and talk about things that are like relatable. Um, but musically, I'm always like striving for like live, organic sounding, like guitar driven stuff. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, I'm really happy with where we've ended up. It's the kind of music that I'd also listen to. So that makes me proud, yeah. you know what I mean? Fantastic. You know, it's amazing because with One Direction, the entourage was very small. And then with you alone, it's very large. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One Direction's entourage was small. God, you, well, I mean, you must be mad. We rolled you. about 100 deep back in the day. <laughs> You um, did, but only a couple would come in the in the radio station. Right, you right. did have one person who was in charge of all of your chargers for all all of you. Right, and there was the charger bag. I do remember that. <laughs> uh, but you, I, I love seeing the man you've become, Louis. Uh, so tell us about we made it. Who's we? We made it as a well. It's for a start, I wrote this song with um, Julian Bennett and John Ryan, and we did a load of one of the One Direction stuff together. And we started out with the title with "We Made It" uh, mm -hmm. when we we're in the room, and like, what did that concept and title mean to me? And it kind of, I kind of thought about my first tour show and how I might feel in that moment of you know, like success and like, you know, it's took me a second to get here. But also it's a, it's going to be a collective feeling that because my fans have been patient and they've been, you know, amazing from the minute I started my career to, to now. Yeah. Um. So I wanted to kind of just have a collective message between me and fans that when I sing that chorus, you know, we feel it together, basically. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I know that as a football player and also as a musician and a performer, I feel like a, the athlete performer puts on the best show um, because you're used to being kind of on a stage all the time, whether mm. it's a field or a real stage. So what will your uh, show look like? Well, let me start by saying I'm nowhere near as fit as an athlete anymore. Um, <laughs> I've done a lot of smoking and not a lot of running. Um, but I'll get there. In terms of what my show's going to look like... Um, I mean, probably quite traditional, um, you know, not too many like bells and whistles and stuff. Yeah. I let the songs do the talking. Um, and... I think, you know, depending on the, when, once I get a great audience and mm -hmm. there's been times in my career that, my solo career, like one thing I always think about when I played Ultra Festival with Steve. Yeah. Every rehearsal, I was pretty wooden. And then I got out there and I just let loose. Do you know what I mean? So you get so, juiced by the, by the energy. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So it's for that reason I'm excited to do the tour. I think it will be, yeah, full of energy. Good That's fun. amazing. Oh, hitting the road in the spring, full US tour. Uh, what's the number one thing that you can't do without on tour? Uh, good people, I think. Mm -hmm. Good people, because otherwise, yeah, I've often said, you know, it must be difficult going out as a solo artist and people who like perform to tracks so they don't have a band. Mm -hmm. uh, it must be pretty lonely, like. So I've got, I've got good people around me. I work with good people. The band that I've got uh, that I'm taking on the road are good people. So I think it's important, definitely. You're so non-materialistic. Ah, uh, yeah, you <laughs> see, man of the people, man of the people, and all that. Louis or lie? Okay. So it's true or false? You have a giant silver sculpture of a pair of headphones in your front yard. Is that a Louis or a lie? It's a lie. I never heard that one. A lie. Okay. Louis, you love long, hot baths. Simon Cowell is the one who suggested them years ago. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'd had a bath before I met Simon, um, so he didn't get me onto that idea. That's a lie. Um, I like a bath, but it wasn't Simon who got me onto it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Louis, you're a lie. You're opening a fast food Restaurant chain here in the U.S. that only serves shepherd's pie. 
Lie, lie, oh, wow. lie. These are a bunch good of restaurant lies. though. Yeah, yeah. All right, Louis or Lie, your uh, celebrity crush is Natalie Portman. Um, I, I, yeah, was back in the day. I was, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've said that a few Has times. It so yeah. Um, I haven't really thought about it since I've got older. You know what I mean? They used to ask us that a lot when we were like 18, lie. 19. Who's your celebrity lie, crush? No, I'm being serious. You know what I mean? I think it's so like when you age on... appropriate question. You know, I'm 27 now. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know. You go to the movies, you see. I don't go to movies a lot, to be honest. I don't <laughs> go to movies a lot. All right, Louis or Lie. Um, you. Oh, you're a Capricorn. You have a giant ram tattooed where we can't see it, it doesn't say where. Uh, that's true. That I've got one on my arm. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But I didn't realize it. I mean, it wasn't deliberate for Capricorn. Uh-huh. So, oh, really? Yeah, okay. Because yeah. so they say about Capricorn, the ram is stubborn, and he climbs the mountain and he gets to the top, but then he looks around. and He's all alone. Right. Okay. <laughs> That'll be why I don't buy into any of that then. <laughs> 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 All right, Louis. That's all I got. That's all no right, more Louis or right. lie. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for thank you for you, Louis. We love seeing you come back. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Congrats on everything. I'm proud of you like a mother. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> thank you.